Yo, what's going on guys? It's Generous here today, and as you can see from the Titan thumbnail, I've got a tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build these awesome looking Japanese slash Oriental style banners. But anyway, let's get on to the video. The first banner I'm going to show you how to make here is like these Japanese and Oriental style letter and a K. And for this, what you're going to need is one black banner, four red dye, one yellow dye. And how I've got the brick and the vines here, I can't get like the, the banner patterns, which is these. I can't get them for these ones here, not in creative, okay? But you'll need the, the banner pattern for the vine and the banner pattern for bricks, okay? And the way we're going to start it off here is by putting the black banner in first. One red die goes in first. And the first one, what you want to do is scroll down until you find like these little three little lines that are facing down, okay? Okay, once you've got this, obviously then put the banner back in there. And you're going to put the red die in there, okay? Obviously, I, I'm not going to put the vine in there, but you'll need the vine pattern for this section there. I'm going to come down here and what you're going to do is you're going to find something that looks like this little scribble in, out, in, out, in, out and it just keeps going right the way around, okay? There we go. Once you've got that, you put that back in then a red die goes in. You're going to scroll up until you see basically this crossroads section, okay? Then that, there you go. Banner goes back in, then a the yellow die. And then what you're going to use the yellow die is you want to create a border going right around the entire banner, okay? There you go. And last but not least, put the banner back in with some red dye and again with the brick pattern there. And what you want to do is find obviously the brick the brick layer there pattern there. Obviously that will make this like this Japanese lettering, oriental style lettering, okay? And that there is the first banner done and dusted. The next banner I'm going to show you how to make is the Japanese banner. And this is dead simple to make, okay? All it requires is one white banner and one red dye. And what we're going to do here is just put the white banner in there, the red dye in there. Scroll down until you find where the circle is right in the middle of it. Get that, and that there is the Japanese banner done and dusted. For the third design, I'm going to show you how to make a Japanese war flag, okay? And for this, what you're going to need is one red banner, three white dye, one black dye, the vine pattern, and the flower charge pattern, okay? And how we're going to start off is putting the red banner in there, take one white dye, put that in there like so, and find where the plus sign is, okay? Once you've done that, put the banner back in there. Put the white dye in again. This time you're gonna go for the, the time symbol or like the ones going diagonally across each other. There we go. And then once you've done this, you're gonna put white dye in with the vine pattern there. Come down here, which obviously you should have this. Then once you've done this, you're gonna put that in along with the black dye and the flower charge pattern. And you should have this. And that there is the Japanese war flag done and dusted. The fourth design, I'm gonna show you how to make some more lettering, okay? Obviously, what you're going to need for this is one black banner, one light grey dye, five white dye, the brick pattern and the globe pattern, okay? And to make this, what you're going to do, put the black banner in there with the light grey dye. And you want to find the one with the little circle in the middle. Once then you've done that, you're obviously going to get the white dye with the brick pattern and try to create the brick flag effect to it. Take that out, put the brick pattern back in there with the white dye. This time, you want to scroll up and find the one that has like a line going straight down the middle through it, okay? There we go. Now that you've done that, put that in there and then with the white dye again. This time you're going to create a border effect around it, okay? There we go. Take that out, put that back in there with the white dye. This one, you're going to find the one that's got a little one, a little white section in the left-hand bottom corner, okay? Take that out. There you go. And then last but not least, add the banner in there with the white dye and the glue banner pattern. And you should have this effect now, okay? There we go. And that there is the lettering done and dusted. For the fifth and final design, I'm going to show you how to make a shoji, okay? And I hope I said that right, I'm sorry if I haven't. But what it is, is a paper door, okay? It's just like a Japanese oriental style paper door. And for this, it's going to require a brown banner, one white dye along with the brick pattern, three brown dye, and two black dye, okay? And how we're going to start off is here, put the brown banner in there along with the white dye and the brick pattern. Obviously, you'll get this here. Once thing you've done, put that in there in the loom, you're going to put the brown dye in. And what you're going to do is you want to find, uh, that's it there, you want to find the brown hair fest inverse decay. And what this is, is obviously the brown bottom half here is all brown and the top half is still the bricks like so. Put that banner in there with the, along with the black dye. Now you want to find where it has the plus sign like so. There you go. Do the same thing but this time with the brown dye on top of that. There you go. And then these two are the exact same things okay. So you want to put the brown banner in there when you're done along with the black dye. But this time a black border and then one more time again a border but this time with a brown border on top of it okay 
and this is what it should look like just like that so okay and that is the shoji and obviously if you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more maybe these banner tutorials on the channel or if you want to see like more japanese tutorials broke up videos whatever it may be okay make sure you smash the like button down below and if you haven't hit that subscribe button i'm cutting the road to 3k subs so hitting that subscribe will help massively but anyway i'll catch you guys in my next video see ya